Yo, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we are going to be playing some Mine Rogue. Uh, I know I played Mine Warlock not so long ago on the channel, but I haven't touched Mine Rogue in months, I feel. I don't remember the last time I actually did play Mine Rogue was. But Mine Rogue has gotten a couple updates recently. Actually, let me check. Mine Rogue was in February, so it's been well over a month uh, since we last played. So... With that being said, they got a new tech in Terran. I never thought I'd see the day where Terran would actually see play in a deck like this, but apparently it's good. And I've run into this deck a couple times on ladder, and I mean, Terran is still like pretty solid in there. So, yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. All right, guys. Yeah. So with that being said, I'll see you guys. My all right, first matchup is Rogue. I'm going to go with its Pirate Rogue. Um, that's just a fair guess, in my opinion, for what I'm going to be playing against here. Hopefully this doesn't make too much noise. I don't know if you got... I don't know if that even was acti activated the mic, but... I currently... Uh, I, I got myself one of the new Cokes. So I don't, for those who don't know, uh, Coca-Cola comes out with new flavors every so often. And the one I have here... Is called move. So it's supposed to taste like movement. That's weird. It tastes like vanilla mixed with cinnamon. Don't know how to feel about it. <laughs> Are we playing a mirror match? Really? It sucks that we chewed the snow, not last turn. Wow, that taste lingers in your mouth for a long time. Uh, I guess I just do this here. Yeah, no, that's a very, very interesting flavor. Cinnamon mixed with, yeah. There be no treasure six feet under. Pirates away! Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. One. Two, three. Give me that. that went pretty well. <laughs> I believe next turn it's going to probably be traded to whatever he plays, if I can, into Door of Shadows plus Snow Gra Snowfall Graveyard, into Scroungel Illusionist. I shouldn't have stabbed him in the face, that was my bad. I don't have an easy way to kill the illusionist. So like even like I need Necrium Blade and Necrium Blade I don't have a hand. I think I'm dead here Pirates though. Away! I need to like wipe most of his board at once again. Evasion's really, really good. Evasion lets me live for one more turn. He probably won't want to kill this as he knows I'm holding an additional minion in hand. So that is a thing. He approximate the 4-2. The 3-1 probably trades into the 0-2. That'd be my guess. I'm trying to think what else he could do. It's smart to do it with the 4-2 and not his face.
It sucks I'm a little bit mana off being able to do a huge turn here and kill my opponent, but... Uh, oh well. Oh well. He had a really, really good aggro start, and even though we were able to deal with his board really, really well on turn two, we had just taken too much damage. Ship scan is the single most broken card I feel like in wild right now. This card is so nuts. It's just, it's a two mana card that deals eight damage like every single time. Putting it on one, deal eight to your opponent on turn two is like not fair. Anyways though, with that being said, let's just keep up the next one. Hopefully not hit aggro. All right guys, yeah, with that being said, I'll see y'all there. All right. Next is a warrior. What the hell do warriors in this? Straight up don't even know what warrior decks exist and that are anywhere playable. And I play this deck, this game way too much. I mean, I've spent, I've been playing this game since like, I'd like to say three or 4 p.m. Like a small break for dinner. But yeah, also to be fair, my rank does not show, but I've mostly been trying to learn new decks and get better with decks that I like playing. So I've been going so good when those decks are not what I would consider playable uh, at the moment. Uh, I'm equipping a weapon next turn so I can just poke here. Play this, poke face. Yeah, I don't have to do that. I can do this, this, poke face. I need mean, to do so much damage in this matchup, it's kind of ridiculous. It's actually kind of ridiculous how much damage I realistically have to do in this game. Like this this game requires hitting like Scrounge Illusionist, giving me a couple naval mines, tear on all the good shit. Uh, but it's okay. I believe in myself. Really good. That is very, that is a very, very good pull for me. That is a pull that still allows me to play the game. Yeah, that's both good. There's the illusionist. Don't want the naval mod. Much rather this one. Okay. So that means I know I have a mine at the bottom of my deck. That is good to know. That is good information to have. The problem I'm facing right now. solution what's the odds of him killing this if i just play it fairly high right okay so next turn the one one's going into my three one i know my three one is dead next one i go illusionist attack illusionist gives me four zero cost dudes Ideally, I hit mine, 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 or mine, mine, Terran, Terran, something like that, or Terran, 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 mine. Don't know if multiple mines or multiple Terrans is better, but one of them is better than the other. So, Let's see what we got. Mine, Terran, mine, Terran. I forgot the Terran's death rate also gets doubled. That's my bad. To be fair, 
I don't know what he can do in this position. <laughs> My board is a little bit cracked. He can't brawl. If he brawls, he just dies. This is so silly. Terran is so good in this deck. What the hell? Okay, I have like well over lethal. Jesus Christ. Man, this is silly. This is actually so silly. What the hell just happened? I'll take it. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let's hopefully pop off again in the next game, right guys? Yeah, I'll see y'all there. Valera versus Jaina. All right. Next matchup is a mage. This. It's always nice to have extra coins in this deck. Oh. I went to the gym not so long ago with my brothers. My brother's like, yo, let's go to the gym. It's been a while. And I think I destroyed my tricep. It hurts so much. I'm destroying. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Just cycle the card. To be fair, in a deck like this, doing this is not bad. It's not good, but it's not like worst case scenario, I guess. Do this so I have this active. I can do this and this next turn. But yeah, as I was saying, drawing into this is not the worst when you're playing a deck like this. Because you never expect the game to go to fatigue. You're always expecting the game to finish relatively quickly. Worried about objection. If he has objection, he has objection. It's a problem for later me. So it's either objection, ice block, flame ward. I'll take more cards. Don't tempt me with a good time. Okay, I can technically test first with Naval Mine. Having drawn both Naval Mines is worst case scenario playing this deck. Sure. Didn't hit the Snowfall Graveyard? Are you serious? Uh Fortunate. Not hitting the snowfall graveyard there was like worst case scenario. Also having drawn both of these is super super bad. Luckily, I've drawn Finley. Interesting order to do things in. Um, he's also running a double Rust. Yeah, he's running double Viper in his list. That can't be good. All right.
Okay. I'm in such a weird position. Genuinely don't know how to play out the rest of this game. I mean, I know how I'm supposed to play it out. I just don't like how I'm supposed to play it out. There's like, I need to draw like 15 different cards for this to be anywhere near playable. The problem here is that one of the secrets he has this ice block, I have a feeling. Yeah. And the problem the other problem is I'm holding the Terran in my hand, and I need Terran not in my hand. Ugh. Ideal. Not ideal. The fact he did attack with a 2-2 though is very, very good. That means I'm not dead to fire oh. I guess I am still technically dead to fireball, but. If I ignore the fact I'm dead to fireball, I have a decent oh chance at winning this game. You need to chill out. Never mind, not anymore. I don't remember where the prep was in my hand. I think that also shuffled. Imagine if I had one pair on. Oh well. That's all for now. Uh, it sucks that both of my snowfall fields were bottom like three cards in my deck. Honestly, if it wasn't for that, this game would have been a one. If I could have slammed this last turn, I would have won the game. Maybe I should have just started off by just saying fuck it, slamming my guy, and then just praying for the best like that. That might have been the best case scenario. So I could have shuffled the deck. Maybe it would have been better. Slightly. Very possible it would have been slightly better. Oh well. Anyways, uh, we have time for at least one more game, so let's queue it up. Scabs versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Time to slice and dice. All right. Yeah. I obviously don't want either of those. I do like this one, though. Okay, okay, this is an interesting hand. I've actually started hitting a lot of hunters. Um, I think this is like my fourth hunter I hit today. Not gonna lie, I'd rather not hit hunters. Hunters a little bit one of it's one of those a little bit harder matchups um, that are a little bit annoying to play. But what can you? I might backstab so I can slam both of these here. Oh. Draw first and then gone fishing. But I now have the illusionist in hand. I do really like me a prep. Okay, so now I can draw more cards here. Like play this to just draw some cards. He doesn't have shit, right? doesn't have shit. Maybe he coins out a one drop. Don't really have to worry about that too much. 
Okay, that's one mana off being able to play this. Are you serious? That's so unfortunate. I think I risk it and I just go for this one instead. I'm gonna go for another one. I hit the coin and I hit the blade. Beautiful. I don't think missing one damage is matters here at all, so. I love how buggy your hand is occasionally in this game. Okay, but to be fair, we're in a really, really good position. Oh, I forgot to attack with my weapon. I went from being in a good position to being in an awful position by missing that one attack. Just missing that attack, the reason it's so bad, right? Now I can't activate my illusionist this turn, which means I can't potentially just have lethal here if I hit like snow. If I hit mine, 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 Terran, I don't just have lethal. Unfortunate. Yes, unless he plays like snipe. If he plays snipe, then I do. But if not, I'm fucked. Fine. Do I go for it now? I think I still just go for it now. The reason I go for it now, he, he in case he's running Ooze or he's a Highlander deck and he has Zephyrus, uh, he can't just blow up my weapon now because it does give me all these triggers, so. Makes me, puts me in a slightly better position. And if not, I mean, I can always do this, punch next turn, and then punch, or well, punch, kill this off. Um, So like, there, there's like a whole bunch of angles where I can just have lethal next turn, so I am vibing with this play. It sucks, as I could have potentially had lethal this turn, which is why it's like, ooh, fuck me dead, but. Also this way, it gives me one more turn to potentially draw Terran, and that's not what I want. None of those are freezing trap. You would have instant picked freezing trap. None of those are freezing trap. You would have instant picked freezing trap. Also, I'm not planning on attacking with this. There's no point for me to attack with it. It's easier for me just to get a Terran and pop it with Terran. Not as bad as drawing Terran. Well, you got snakes. I think you would survive. Okay, well. Casey did have more health. I had another one to eat and then. <laughs> If that didn't kill him, I don't know what would have killed him, so... Yeah. Anyways, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, I believe we still have time for one last game. Yeah, we have time for at least one more game. So, let's queue it up, and hopefully get another dub so we can end positive. Alright guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys all there. Maez versus Raw. I bring the fury of the elements. You didn't see anything. Alright. Why am I playing it's a guy this rank when I'm this rank? This hand's okay. Um Again, Shaman, we can't go for the greedy play with just slamming illusionist like we did last time. You actually have to proc it. Uh the turn you play it. So it's really, really important not to misplay here. Wait a turn so you can slam swindle swindle. With the prep. Fine. 
That's actually not a bad draw. Oh, I hit the Terran. That is good. This is not good at all. I should have played the Shiny Finder. That's so unfortunate. Imagine if you would have hit Scrounge. Illusionist. That's fine. I'm gonna slam Shiny Finder here. So unfortunate this is what he pulled. If he pulled either of these two, I was still in the game. Pulling this says I'm like not really in the game anymore either. It's weird how both the pulls, he, he's probably angry about these pulls. Cause I know if I was in his position, I'd hate these pulls. I would have wanted to pull the mine so I can heal up the damage from the mine. But in reality, that was not best case scenario for him. Best case scenario is what he hit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times four is only 24 damage. A little bit more damage than that. I guess I need hope for no devolve. A lot of Shutterwalk lists are down to only running one devolve. So. Rage. He's trying to find his one devolve. If he hits it, he hits it. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that, but my prey is that he doesn't. It's gonna be an instant slam if he does. The advantage he has is I have no one to trade my shit into. Like, I have one minion. There's one minion here that I can trade into, but that's it. I'm not, that makes this a little bit harder. Also, I didn't slam all of them in case of a devolve. I'd rather hold some up if he goes devolve, and then this way I can draw the second snowfall, play snowfall, go mine, 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 and then just be like, fuck around and find out, Mike G. So, that's no devolve, which is really, really good. Two. Armor, this. Armor. Gaining armor is smart for him. Knowing that, I don't know if that was the best choice for him, but... And now I need to find backstab. Also, backstab would not. He's digging hard, man. He now has the hope I just can't kill him. But between these... Oh, I don't have a snowfall graveyard anymore either. Not stressful at all. No, no, no. 
Why would a game ever be stressful? I've had so many mines. Ma imagine if he didn't pull my Terran. Just imagine if he hadn't pulled Terran. Like, my play could have been mental. It would have been so good. Like, bro. Feels bad, but hey, we won. That's all that really matters uh, in the long run, even though we couldn't style on him with the Terran. Also, Golden Terran just looks so clean. Like, the, the soul or whatnot that's coming off of the shit he eats. Like giving him power. Oh, it looks sick. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I know I had a blast playing this deck. This deck is always one of those decks that's, like, super, super fun to come back to. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those decks that's just really, really fun to come back to. And combo young people is just cool. I don't, like, I don't know what to say because... I always like to just kill people in unique, cool ways. And I feel like this is one of those few decks that can actually do it in a cool, unique way. Especially when you kill them with Terran. Very few decks have wind cones like this. I know that the old Owl decks. Uh, so before there was Naval Mine, uh, we used to play this one. Um, where, yes, that is a lot more damage. But what we used to do is... You'd play this on 7 when you're a Warlock. Right, and then they'd be like, oh shit, and then you would kill it off, which typically would like, you know, Soulfire or whatever. Actually, it wasn't Soulfire, but any form of kill spell on this, you'd or you, they would just trade into it. And then you use uh, the Tamsin's Potion thing to give this Death Rattle to all your minions. Or you'd cube this, and then it'd do some damage, and you'd eat your cube, and then, you know, pop off like that. And then you would uh, put on all your minions, and then Plague of Flames... Uh, and then win the game. It was really, really cool. It was really, really fun. Um, but, I mean, mine just does the job better because so you no longer have to worry about their minions. Yes, it's only four damage, which is half as much, but it's also only two mana, not seven mana, and it can't hit minions where Owl can hit minions. If you guys go back on the channel, uh, maybe around, like, six, nine, twelve months ago, uh, you'd actually see the Owl deck, and it's really, really cool. It's very, very unique. And, yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one, where hopefully we can get some dubs, or some more dubs. Hopefully we can climb even higher. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.